good morning students beta we were doing the revision exercise uh, and uh, we have completed till exercise number i now we have to begin with exercise number j and the last exercise would be k after that uh, this uh, revision exercise would be complete so let's uh, continue with this uh, particular topic fill in the blanks with appropriate words from the box so some of the box have been given here and now you have to fill them in the blanks provided so first one is j exercise first sentence as dash as a crystal so the answer is as clear as a crystal two as dash as the hills so as old as the hills hills mountains all these are very old as dash as a lamp so as innocent as a lamp as innocent as a lamp another sentence fourth one as dash as a dust so dust is very dry as dry as a dust and the last sentence from this exercise is as dash as a snow so snow is what as white as a snow i hope you know it was n written here but still okay now all of you please take down the screenshot as clear as a crystal as old as a hill as innocent as a lamp as dry as a dust as white as snow okay please take down the screenshot students please take down the screenshot okay i'm hoping everyone has taken down the screenshot as i'm rubbing it off now so another exercise is exercise number k complete this sentence with suitable similes from the box okay some of the similes have been provided and you have to complete this sentence with the uh, with the help of these similes so exercise number k part 1 the wrestler won the medal he is as strong as an ox as strong as an ox the another one the rumor that the volcano was going to erupt spread like a wild fire third she is making pre uh, preparations for her son's marriage and is as busy as a b and the last sentence from this uh, particular exercise lata mangeshkar is a renowned singer who sings like a nightingale who sings like a nightingale 
Now all of you please take down the screenshot. Please take down the screenshot students. Okay, I'm rubbing it off. So with this beta, we have completed the chapter revision uh, exercise also. Now with this, our uh, grammar syllabus is uh, finally completed. Now, Let's move on to the topic that is, wait a second, hmm. let's do the new chapter from writing section that is advertisement. Topic is advertisements <coughs> sorry beta okay so so the topic is advertisements now what is advertisements that you watch on uh, TV uh, while watching uh, videos and short form for advertisement is ads that you see while watching uh, YouTube or watching TV serials, cricket match. So, and also magazines, newspaper. So, let's uh, come back to the topic. Advertisements are an integral part of today's booming economy and their consumers-driven world. The world of advertising has invaded each one's everyday life in a uh, in a big way whether it is through radio television <clears throat> holdings or the print media that is newspaper or magazines advertisements are an effective medium of giving or receiving a specific kind of information writing advertisement is an art because Advertisement includes a lot of details given in a concise, brief and appealing manner. It, is, uh, it also contains informative captions, slogans and write-ups. So first of all, these advertisements uh, have uh, taken a big part in our day-to-day uh, -day life. We see advertisement everywhere, uh, whether it is from radio, television, magazines, newspapers or hoardings that we see on ho uh, on uh, roads so these uh, we find these advertisement everywhere and they are the medium of what giving us providing us information about something or the other what is being said here uh, that uh, <coughs> writing advertisement is an what is an art because what does it include it includes brief brief appealing manner okay it also contains informative uh, captions slogans and uh, write-ups how you uh, need to beautify your advertisement how you need to make your advertisement attractive so that it catches the eyes of uh, are uh, what individuals are uh, consumers customers they help us uh, they help to give information and publicize good products okay so advertisement helps them to sell their products they also gives us uh, information 
एडवर्टीजमेंट दैट अपीयर इन न्यूज़ पेपर आर आइदर क्लासीफाइड और डिस्प्ले एडवर्टीजमेंट Now, what is display advertisement? So, it is said here. An effective medium. It is an effective medium of of what? Giving a specific kind of information. okay so this is what an advertisement is advertisement that appears in a newspaper are called specific uh, sorry classified or display classified or display advertisement okay advertisement that we see uh, on newspaper are uh, called classified or display advertisement now what is display advertisement we are going to talk about this classified or display advertisement in detail so the heading is display advertisement okay so display advertisements target a large number of people and have catchy captions okay uh, because they are uh, going to be seen through a uh, newspaper Uh, by uh, numerous amount of people number of people so their caption should be very catchy that uh, what that catches the att uh, attention of the readers so look at the display or non classified advertisement given below so two advertisements have been given here and see how they have made their uh, advertisement very catchy what uh, they are uh, selling is very visible from here only one uh, first one is yummy pickles and sauces so first advertisement is for pickles and sauces and uh, where do you get from grandma secret kitchen second one is elegant creations new ready made garments so it is selling garments and the third one is toy station so see how they are making their advertisement very catchy very attractive that uh, uh, the readers get attracted to it and uh, so that they can read it uh, what is being said here and maybe uh, it could uh, help them to buy the product from their shops now the following features of non classified advertisement are clearly evident when we glance through a wide range of such advertisement now features of non classified advertisement these advertisement are used to publicize a product okay apne product ki publicity ke liye use hota hai they are also used to launch new products or to promote further sale so these uh, non classified product are used for new launching new launching of the product and also to promote sales that it is 50% off flat 60% off up to 20% off up to 50% off sometimes we have also seen up to 80% off so these two points now the third point non classified advertisement are not printed in columns or under headings so 
these uh, non classified uh, products uh, advertisements that we see are not printed in any columns or uh, any headings they are inserted in space specially allocated in newspapers so they are they are uh, what printed in uh, in the space that is given in the in the newspaper at the sides of the newspaper they are printed now the fifth part is these advertisements are very eye catchy attractive and have great visual appeal okay the same thing that i was telling you it should be very catchy so that it can uh, attract uh, the audience the word used in these adver advertisement are effective in drawing attention of the readers and the consumers same thing the words uh, the heading the captions uh, should be very catchy the non classified advertisement are eye catching and impress the consumer while they highlight the positive aspects of a particular product same thing is being repeated again and again that the uh, uh, advertisement non classified uh, advertisement should be eye catching attractive uh, so that it can impress the consumer and it uh, it uh, also in such a way that it can highlight the about the details of the particular product now what are classified advertisement classified advertisement are inserted in columns in newspaper and appear in different categories under specific headings so now here uh, specific headings are used for the for what for classified advertisement some of the headings for the classified advertisement are sale purchase to let situations vacant educational matrimonial property so you have seen all these headings that uh, we see in the newspaper so these are for classified advertisement and non classified are those uh, who uh, which doesn't have any uh, space provided uh, certain examples are uh, provided here uh, like a uh, situation vacant to let educational or uh, sale purpose okay so uh, see how these uh, headings or captions have been prepared for them uh, how all these uh, details are given so that uh, it uh, the information is very brief precise and also very informative now coming to this uh, heading features of classified advertisement look at the advertisement given above and you can uh, certainly say that the highlights of classified advertisements are as follows they are very precise brief and usually do not exceed 50 words advertiser pays for number of words used okay so the advertiser uh who is uh, ad, uh paying for this advertise uh, to be shown in their uh, to be uh, printed in this uh, newspaper had to pay uh for the number of words used in this advertisement the heading of the column under which the advertisement has to be given should be mentioned clearly under which heading you want to put your advertisement should be very clear selected words that provide information are used to write an advertisement same uh, very uh, brief words are used and uh, maximum information is given through these advertisement complete sentences are not used but only words or phrases are used effectively to convey information advertisement therefore may not be grammatically correct generally auxiliary, uh, auxiliary verbs preposition are replaced by com commas semicolons and dashes okay so if uh, you see then uh, proper uh, grammatically correct sentence won't be there uh, all uh, the sentence would be in what uh, phrases or uh, all the auxiliary verbs prepositions are replaced by colons commas and dashes another point 
all the relevant information should be provided in the advertisement obviously uh, what the advertisement is all about that information should be very clear our contact number or address should be clearly mentioned in the advertisement so uh, at the end of this advertisement your contact number and address should be clearly mentioned so that if the customer want to or the consumer want to uh, contact you or reach uh, to you through this advertisement then he can contact you without facing any difficulties now examples exercise number one which we would be continuing in the next video so students till then bye bye take care and uh, please go through what an advertisement is so that uh, it would be easy for you to do these exercises in the next video okay bye